Now, continuing on with part one, intermediate symbolism, we have, again, signs of Horus, Lucifer, and the 666 OK sign. This is a key image I use uh, to show people uh, that there's dual sim symbolism going here, and uh, it's fantastic that she would use this um, in a um, on an album cover because you can understand that there's dual symbology going on, and I'll show you that symbology. This is <clears throat> three sixes in the eye. So you can see that arrangement of three sixes in the eye of Lucifer. So you understand 666 means Satan or Lucifer. The eye, distinguishing that eye, means Horus or Lucifer. And then here we have this sign of silence being used. And that sign of silence you're going to find out right now. We'll go into that sign rather than the 666 sign. This is Osiris in the middle, Isis, and Horus. And you can see Horus, Horus puts the uh, finger to the lips. Horus has a counterpart in Greece, which is Harpocrates. And you can see the uh, uh, finger going to the lip in that case. You can also see uh, similarities between the adornment of these gods as well. Harpocrates or Horus. Note the serpent and other symbols and figures around him. Notice also the finger to his mouth and the harp-shaped object on his head. The comedian Harpo Marx imitated this deity, and there is Harpo Marx. And he's doing the sign of Horus, or Lucifer, or Harpocrates. That's why he's named Harpo. But it just so happens that Oprah Winfrey uh, has her studios called Harpa, Harpo. There's dual symbolism here. Harpo refers to Harpocrates, I believe, and therefore Lucifer Oprah is Harpo backwards, so you have now this dual symbology. They love to do things front and backwards. Um, backward masking and Satanism is key. So it was very well thought about uh, of Harpo Studios. So you can see here, silence, the sign of silence. Here's a two-finger method, uh, and I'll show you how they do it with variants of that. Uh, I believe this is African. I'm not sure there, but here we have Horus. Egyptian god, oh, this is Osiris doing that sign. So we have different gods doing the same sign, uh, but it all references that uh, uh, satanic trinity and these gods that have multiple uh, uh, disguises or, or manifestations. Uh, in Freemasonry, you have now uh, the signs of silence. So now you have a reference to secret societies keeping silent about things, so that dual symbolism of keeping silent and the signs of Horus and Lucifer. Uh, Journal of, of the Masonic Society, now you can see the sign being done. Here's Harpocrates as a sculpture, sign of silence. You have a Masonic Lodge in Oklahoma City. Now this is key as well, because you see now the Aeon, and the Aeon... Uh, the Aeon of Horus, or the Age of Horus, and you see Horus in the background, the hawk uh, shape, and now you see this sign of silence, finger to the mouth. Alistair Crowley and Secret Societies, and you can see that that is the use of the sign of silence or the sign of Horus. You can also see the pyramid with I at the top. This is Wicca, witchcraft, and you understand that by the uh, crescent moon and the sun or the star there. Here is that sign of silence again. Down pointing uh, usually means the female aspect uh, or earth, so you'll see some of that later. You can see this priest, Alumbrados. Illuminati and these monks and brothers. Now we have a reference to monks and brotherhoods, Jesuits and Jesuitism going all the way back through the Roman Empire. And so I'm going to hold that there, but this is Ignatius Loyola who is the founder of the Jesuits. And you're going to understand what Jesuitism is going from Jesuitism, Roman Empire to Jesuitism to uh, with Gnosticism and then through onto Freemasonry, founded by Jesuits. And we have uh, Benedictus, and you see the sign of silence being used. 
Here is a Rosicrucian, so you can understand all of these secret societies, all of this stuff goes back, um, and Rosicrucianism is none, uh, a, another secret society, and its roots in Gnosticism and monks and Jesuitism. Ro R.C. Rosicrucian, and then you see the rosy cross being used. That's not a symbol of Christianity. And you hear, see here again the use of that. Uh, again, now you have the two middle fingers being... Uh, put together in this portrait and we'll get into that at the end of this whole thing and you have uh, now uh, uh, you can see that stained glass window. Moving along here is Horus uh, this god and then you see all of this sacred geometry all of these patriarchs of science and uh, diplomacy and, and uh, stature and then you have now going coming on through the looks like prelates and the Roman Empire on through uh, distinguished people like John Dee, who was the uh, in the court of uh, Queen Elizabeth, and all of these dignitaries coming through, all of these elite coming through. What an image! And to show you that the sign of Horus now is being depicted on Mercury, the god Mercury. And there he is. There's Mercury again. It looks like now this is uh, the sort of Jewish seven candelabra. Uh, oh, I forget what that's called now, it just slipped my mind. But uh, just to show you that there is a counterfeit going on, and they use the symbols of these things to twist your brain into thinking that it's all part of the same thing. And so I want you to understand that there's counterfeit going on, and please understand uh, uh, that concept fully as we move along. Over here we have a portrait. This is supposed to be Jesus. And you see the man here doing this sign of silence. Very interesting symbology going on. Even the fingers have that symbology. We'll see a little bit of that later. And you see this woman in the background with a finger to the mouth. Horus, again, the baby Horus. This is called silence, the sculpture. And you see the hawks on both sides and the finger to the mouth. This portrait with the child and the finger to the mouth, the Masonic checkerboard floor, and you see a lot of this going on here. Very interesting. Colin Powell, Jewish magic and Kabbalism, uh, gives a due guard of the Royal Arch Mason. All these guys at the top level. He is a Mormon, and you're going to find out that Mormonism was founded by Freemasons. Winston Churchill, former uh, Prime Minister of Great Britain, a Mason and a Druid priest, gives the sign of silence. Now, this is a key image here. You can understand now the use of the symbolism, dual use. The, she closes one eye to show you the eye of Lucifer, and then she does the same thing that Lady Gaga does in on her album cover uh, with the sign of Horus, and, uh, which is Lucifer. So that is a fashion shoot, and that's a studio image. And you can see the same thing going on. Basically, they're covering the eye instead of the OK sign in the eye, the 666 six, six, six sign. Now, moving along with everyone doing the same thing, here is Rihanna. She actually tattooed on her uh, finger. Lindsay Lohan did the same thing, as well, uh, well as Lily Donaldson, doing the same thing, promoting the same thing. And now you can see them all doing it. This is amazing to me. And we don't get it because this is a sign that they've made ubiquitous. Oh, shh, be quiet. That kind of thing. When you see it like this and that she's closed her mouth with duct tape and that she's giving the sign of the devil, then you can understand that's a dual symbolism there. This is that lady sovereign uh, from the United Kingdom. Now, again, here is the studio shot of a young Michael Jackson. He does everything as well as this sign. So you understand that that is a deliberate sign of Horus, a.k.a. Lucifer. You saw that two-finger uh, symbolism up uh, previously on this plate. And you can see Selena, Fergie, they all are doing it.
Now I can't say that this is probably, you know, like it's not a studio shot, so I, I don't want to say that, that he, he didn't do that and it was caught there. But I, I'm telling you that they deliberately catch these artists doing these symbols just to show that allegiance. And when you see studio shots like this, you can understand that this is exactly what they're doing. So let's be reasonable about this, but I'm telling you it's in the 90th percentile that this is what they're doing. And you saw Johnny Depp doing the other signs as well. David Bowie, disciple of Aleister Crowley, of course he's going to do all of this. And we got to understand the full range of what they're doing. You see all of these artists, these puppets, these ministers for the religion, Blink-182, he's doing it uh, a variant of that which is actually I think the right way which is the finger on the mouth in that fashion. I just picked that up uh, just by looking at what movies were out there and Ben Stiller was there. Madonna. This is a look at this. Now you can see covering the eye and she's doing the sign of horse. Eye of Lucifer, sign of silence of Lucifer. <laughs> Amazing to me. You can pick this out if you just know the symbols and what they mean. Don't be naive to this world. Understand that there is a doctrine of religion being perpetrated on mankind, completely perpetrated on mankind. Any which way you can do that, silent mode, however creative you can be. And there is a famous actress here on a Japanese magazine. Now look at this. Here is the silence and the devil's sign. So you can understand that's satanic sign dual symbolism there and look at this this is a, an American Idol Ryan Lambert he wears Aleister Crowley's t-shirt as did the Jonas brother and he does the sign very clear again that what they're doing this is that band My Chemical Romance you remember the lightning bolt in the eye t-shirt for My Chemical Romance and they do the same thing they're all about symbology and we're simply ignorant to it Please inform yourself, educate yourself, because I believe that your soul is at stake. As a matter of fact, I am 100% sure your soul is at stake. And this man, Jesus, that lived 2,000 years that people ignore, that said he's God and said he's the only one, is the one that can save you. And that's my belief system. It doesn't have to be yours. Here's Charles Darwin, and you can see this deliberate photo shoot of him photograph of him and he's doing the sign of silence the sign of Harpocrates or Horus aka Lucifer and you can see here now see no evil speak no evil that kind of a thing but you can see understand now the one eye symbolism uh, the 666 OK sign and the sign of Lucifer or the sign of silence same thing these are Japanese it's global understand that and I just wanted to make a final note this is Darwin and he is the founder of Darwinian evolution which will take you completely away from understanding who God is it's a completely planned doctrine uh, uh, to make you think that this whole thing is all purely naturalistic we understand science we can uh, see what happens but this is a manipulation of science uh, based on things we've never seen and I'm telling you, you're going to find out in the future uh, in this presentation that our education has been owned. Science is literally owned and marketed to the public. And so if you're not a scientist, you have no particular say in things. And I'm telling you, if you just look with your eyes and you can see that uh, uh, this particular doctrine that has come about in the last two centuries is off. And this clue as to who he's all about and what his purposes are, are is a clue to... Uh, being very wary about what you believe and this is a very touchy subject uh, around the world uh, with regard to faith and science. Now with regard to Charles Darwin doing this hand sign and this is again very deliberate you can see this photo shoot uh, him in the corner it was very deliberately done as a sign of silence and so I believe this is a key image to understand he is the father of evolutionary theory Evolu uh, and evolutionary theory leads you away from the understanding of a supernatural God. So understand that there is a doctrine being taught. And if he is part of this secret society, then there is more than just 
your physical body at stake. What evolutionary theory has done throughout the ages, they uh, racism is a result of evolutionary theory, uh, slavery, that slave trade was, social Darwinism, and believing that we need to now socialize our understanding uh, because we're in cities now and uh, uh, natural selection is not quite working within that, so we have to bring Darwinism into the social aspect. So understand what that's done and what the motive is behind that. And what I've come to found out, find out, and you'll see in another plate uh, with regard to religion and education at the end of that uh, section, you're going to see that education is owned and operated. So uh, there is an underlying uh, jeopardy going on and it is a fight for the soul and the idea uh, and the understanding of religion and this has now turned into pure atheistic evolution and that's what communism is they don't even allow uh, any religious thought there and so I don't know what category you're into but look at this image and realize that there's something being perpetrated uh, and uh, just wanted to make you aware of that now let's go back to the same image that we had in the beginning of, beginning of this section. This is a, an album cover by Lady Gaga, Born This Way, besides being completely pornographic. Um, these two symbols here. So we're going to concentrate on this symbol. This is 666, and let me try and prove that to you. So we understand now she's using the eye of of Lucifer, Eye of Horus, and she's using this in conjunction with the 666 sign. So you can understand Horus and Lucifer are synonymous, therefore this is 666, this is the mark of the beast, a satanic sign, and that connection is made. So look at how much it's being perpetrated. Cross genre again, Lady Gaga and Beyonce collaborating on videos. They can do it uh, to look like a an Eastern religion. We'll see that in the later section of this plate. You can see Beyonce and Lady Gaga and all of the dancers programming. Look at this. An album cover, Justin Timberlake. Again, artists copying artists. These are not artists at all. These are puppets and ministers for the religion of Lucifer. It's obvious. Now again, we have a top hat and this dual symbolism, black and white. You'll see that later in the last section of this, understanding that uh, checkerboard, that Masonic checkerboard. Um, and you can see here now this is being used as a, in a sexual connotation. Any which way that they can do it, they will show you that. So 666 and, of course, the female part with the male part. And this is a movie by Justin Timberlake, Friends with Benefits. So promoting fornication and all of this. Yeah, it sounds funny. Uh, but I'm telling you, we have something to understand and realize in morality that there is a soul at stake. And Jesus did teach all of this. Uh, in addition to him being the only way of salvation. Um, now we have him doing the 666 sign here. Uh, another Disney product, which is Christina Aguilera. There is the 666 sign. And then, of course, she does all the other signs to distinguish her eye. Moving on, Britney Spears, the third Brit, uh, Disney product. You can see the, the dancers doing the same thing. They are programmed to do this. They do this by choreography, not by being an artist. The industry does this. Christina, or Britney Spears' sister. So it's all in the family. It's all in a bloodline. They are children that grow up in this religion. And their children are the ones on the stage. As we have children in our churches and we go to churches in the open, there is no church of Lucifer or church of Satan. Therefore, their children grow up in the world and their children become the stage actors and actresses to indoctrinate you. And you are completely unaware of it. Madonna. And so you can understand now this kind of sort of Eastern style of this mudra being done. And there is Shakira and this mudra being done. And that reference to Buddhism, Hinduism, they have a similar mudra. You can see that similar mudra there. And these mudras, again, enlightenment, wisdom, that type of symbology. But I'm going to tell you and I'll show you uh, the roots of Hinduism, uh, the roots of Buddhism, which stem from Hinduism. Buddha was a Hindu, and we'll get into that later. I'm not knocking the religion. I'm just calling out 
it out for what it is. And you can believe this or not. It is up to you. Now this is key. We have a fashion shoot with uh, the 666 sign. You can see here Novus Ordo Seclorum. That is the New World Order. You have here the Eye of Lucifer. You have here Anunnaki. I believe these are lightning bolts, I'm not sure. But Anunnaki refers to the, the, the Sumerian gods, those who from heaven came, uh, and that is the definition of the Anunnaki. The only book in the world that's going to tell you those who from heaven came were the fallen angels. And so this doctrine of fallen angels going into Hinduism, which is the deity worship on a grand scale, they have millions of deities, and you can see that these this ancient religion mystery religions now with the triangle moving along and showing you the 666 sign any which way that they can um, how well it's it's programmed into society they know exactly what they're doing those who do this fashion shoot know what they're doing and so not only do they know what they're doing uh, this is a religion being perpetrated on you you have to realize that. I mean, we uh, before I was uh, believe what I believed, I was like, man, you know, what are you trying to push religion on me for? Look at the religion being pushed onto you, and realize that that your idea of you know people pushing religion onto you uh, is not tolerated. Look at what is being tolerated by the masses, and understanding that it's religion. Here's Bono again, and look at all of the young actors doing this this is one of the most famous actors on the planet Johnny Depp Leonardo DiCaprio as a young boy look at what they're doing continuing on this is a uh, muse or oh gosh no 30 seconds to Mars one of those two uh, Jared Leto I think it's 30 seconds to Mars do you see the eye who in their right mind puts an OK symbol in the eye. This is a variant of that saluting 666 or Satan. It's clear. Please understand what the interpretation is and know that that's what's going on. Don't like, let your mind have that wall in it and say, oh, no, they can catch these guys doing anything. Come on. Realize it. Understand it and realize you're being played. You are getting played like a dummy on the outside world. This is uh, Tyra Banks, another variant of that. You think she's not doing it, it's clear. Look at it. This is, she was in the Olympic 2012 ceremony, ceremony uh, closing ceremonies. Uh, Jesse J, I believe her name is. Fergie. The same actors and actresses doing the same thing the same puppets doing the same thing they've sold out they've been bred from a young child to do this and be ministers this way here's LL Cool J and the eye of CBS and you can see that this is 2012 Grammy Awards clear please people understand what's going on on this level and now we can see uh, back in the 60s, Yellow Submarine, you saw John Lennon with the uh, satanic sign in the cartoon. Now he's doing this three-finger method with the satanic sign. And you can understand now that OK sign is simply not an OK, but it is a 666 sign. And you make the connection between uh, the Sgt. Pepper album with Aleister Crowley being on the uh, cover of that album. And you understand that their whole, they are satanic. And so you say, oh, Beatles are not a satanic band. Give me a break. Please look, research, understand, understand the symbols, and understand that you're being played on a religious level. Here we are, they're older, and you can see Ringo Starr, uh, triple six sign. Another variant of that, doesn't look like he's doing a 666 sign, but I'm telling you, um, most likely he is doing that. Here's Michael Jackson, a young child doing the same image. Same thing, studio shot. They are children that have been raised this way. Michael Douglas, Steven Tyler, this is the lead singer of 
look at this. I want to show you this, that he's wearing an image and showing you the image of the Pope doing the triple sixes in the eyes. And these are variants of that doing the same thing. And I challenge you to say that that is not deliberate. Here is uh, Puff Daddy. He's changed his name so many times, I don't know which one it is. But look at, pointing at Jay-Z, doing the triple six sign. This is a video of Snoop Doggy Dog. He does the triple six sign with the light emanating from the hand. Usually there's an eye in the hand, that eye symbolism in the hand as well. Uh, Little Wayne, and he does that triple six. Yeah, there's a lot of gang signs out there, but what you know when it's done in context that it is 666, and he's all about that. Look at the lyrics. Look at what he does. Look at them all. This is puppeteering on a grand scale, selling out, selling your soul out for what? Fame and fortune? For what profit it if a man that he gained the whole world and lose his soul look at that so now you can understand here's Satan Satan same image Chris Brown look at this this is a joke here he is here's the diamond shape and that's a pretty popular brand coming out now and then you can understand what that is later that is enlightenment and the elite we'll see that in the Freemasonic um, a double eagle, you can see that sign. So they're doing it all over the place. Now this top hat, you'll see later on uh, why he uses that. That is Masonic. You can see the sign. And moving along, everyone. Everyone. Yeah, okay, you're a basketball player and you want to do a three. They just Put the sign in there and have every way to disguise it, but you can't disguise it in this context. Jimmy. And now you can see that being used as well. Variants on it. Doing this with the hat is real popular. Doing that with glasses just to disguise it slightly. And here's a black eyed peas. Look at this. This is puppeteering. This is a joke. These people are jokes. Please understand. They're jokes. They're not artists. Oh, yeah, it's great music. Oh, yeah, give me a break. Dance to it. Give me a break. Look at this. This is stupidity. Indoctrinating your children to it. They are playing you like you wouldn't believe. Understand it and get out of it. Literally get out of what they fantasize reality with. Get out of the matrix that they put you into. Not understanding what your life is about, what your purpose is about. This is Far East movement. This is a joke. Look at this. Asian rock or, or Asian alternative band. Look at what they're doing. This is a global movement. It's a global effort to get you into this Luciferian New World Order, and you have no clue what's going on. So let's look at some more of the triple six hand sign. And you can see here, uh, this is, looks like a variant of that sign. But when you see that this is a Getty image, you can see that they're, they are doing this purposely. it's undeniable what's being done now there is a different uh, version of that uh, it's more of, but she's doing this X sign we'll, we'll get into that later she was actually uh, in the closing ceremony of the Olympics that's uh, Annie Lennox Oprah Winfrey now uh, Zach Efron I think is his name I'm not sure of everyone this is that band Paramore so she's doing the same thing Remember the redhead doing all of those signs? She's doing it in concert as well. This is Keisha. You can see the distinction of the eye. And, man, are they plugging this in. Justin Bieber. 
that band My Chemical Romance. Look how deliberate it is. This is a joke. Man, it's just a joke. And look what they do here, Catholic. So now they promote whether or not it's promoting Catholic, Catholicism or not. You'll see this kind of deception. Catholicism is not Christianity. And so therefore, in this case, Catholics might be upset with them doing or this band, but it has a dual uh, effect, whether or not you believe that they're promoting Catholic Catholicism, and therefore Catholicism, it's okay to believe this because the realm says, uh, for instance, that uh, uh, Harry Potter and magic is okay, and this kind of new age is okay if you don't go too far, this kind of stuff. So it's just really apostasy all the way around. And then the other thing is that if that the Catholic Church says, hey, why are you bashing Catholicism, then it sympathizes with Catholicism, and it has that psychological effect of saying, okay, and you'll see that example in the end of this with the how of case studies. Now again, you can see the dual symbolism here. He's also wearing a black and red jacket. Whether or not, uh, you know, I, I wear black and red, and sometimes I'm a little, <laughs> um, I get, uh, uh, sensitive about that, but really it is color. But when you see it in this context, you'll see black and red are quintessential colors, and in the right context, you can understand what they're doing. Getty Images, again. This is, uh, gosh, I forget his name, but there's one called the Firestarter. That was in the Olympics that was played there. British uh, band. I'm not sure if that's him, though. Anyway, but you can see the Getty Images and the use of that symbolism there. Jack Black. This is a Glee a TV show. This is Depeche Mode. I used to like this band growing up. And so you can see he's looking through these triple sixes. There's Bono again. David Bowie, a variant of that triple six sign. Ads for Dolce & Gabbana making the children do this. This is Macy's I or Lucifer Loves You. Give me a break. Wow. Magazine covers. Emma Watson, real business. I took this image myself. I just couldn't believe. This is Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil, Circus of the Sun. And we'll see that sun symbolism going on. Believe me, there is a difference between Jesus, the Son of God, and the worship of the sun. They want to equate that with it. And I'll show you what that's all about. This is the owner's magazine of uh, the New Jersey Nets. Um, so you can see that that magazine, he's Russian. Um, movies, movies. There's that image of the Pope on the lead singer uh, Van Halen. Uh, I forget his name, but you saw that on his jacket. And so you have priests or prelates. This is the Black Pope, uh, Kolvenbach. Uh, he's the former Black Pope, which is the Jesuit general. And so you have the Black Pope here and the White Pope. And we'll get into that later. Obama athletes are not immune and as a matter of fact I believe this one has sold his soul and he finally won his championship. Here's the triangle ritual, here's the triple six ritual and he throws up the chalk to represent the spirit world. Here is Muhammad Ali who became a Muslim. Cassius Clay was his original name. Here is Carl Lewis. Like I said, a uh, one down, how many more? Okay, I guess he's shooting for three. No, I'm going to tell you that these athletes sell themselves out as well. This is wrestling. Not at the museum. And you see Lincoln doing that. And this guy, you saw him doing the sign of Horus. Sign of silence. That is uh, Ben Stiller. Look at these. I believe these are dancers, but look at the eye of Lucifer. And look at they're all doing this. Look at them all. They are copycatting. He's doing now this X sign. It's all copycatting. And they, uh, I know somebody that's into this. Uh, he was a dancer with Lady Gaga, and he knows what he's doing. He wants to be in the industry, and he's doing whatever it takes. So they get indoctrinated in all of this. This is now Japanese. Um, Kelly, you can see the use of the pinnacle and the with the K. So this is a star. And you can see Lucifer. And so that's the end of that series. Now, let's look at what the Bible says. Um, and I just wanted to show you 
that the Bible says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So uh, another translation says, be not conformed to the pattern of the patterns of this world, and that we just saw all of those symbols and patterns in this world that we get caught up in. First uh, John two fifteen to sixteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. I know it's difficult to l not love this world. Um, there's so much fascination out there, but I'm telling you that we have another uh, thing that I believe in is the future for us, and we have to make a choice in this world of either following Jesus or not. And this is up to you, but I come to believe that completely because the world is completely against that one man. And you're going to see that. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, oh man, how appetizing that flesh is. The lust of the eyes, what we see is so good. And the pride of life, wow, we're so proud. Boy, you know, when we talk to somebody about what we're doing, it's always, wow, look at me. Uh, and we tend to lie about what we're doing. Look, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, um, everything's up and coming, and wow, how we have that pride. It is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Believe me, there is an underlying lesson to this, and we have to figure out this puzzle. Go go seek and understand what the hope, the true Christian hope is. James 4.4 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, Know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God, meaning if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God, meaning that you're against God. Whosoever, uh, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So it is against the world and God are against each other. And God is going to clean this place up. My God is going to clean this place up. And I just want you to understand that whether you believe or not at this point, believe me, uh, Again, it's not what I believe, it's what you believe. So this is information uh, for you to understand, and uh, uh, we'll move along.